Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. Um, okay, so I am here to make a tagging card with you. I was tagged in um, in a collaboration by the lovely Bex over at Black Whisper Crafts. She is a super duper talented, talented crafter. And if you haven't heard of her, definitely go and check her out. She has amazing, amazing tutorials and project shares and she joins in with so many different collaborations and things like that. She is a, um, yeah. I absolutely love her style. Hashtag Beck style. <laughs> um, so yes, I was uh, nominated by her to join in with hashtag tag your turn, hosted by Carrie over at um, the Paper Monkey. Uh, also go and check um, Carrie out. Carrie carry out um <clears throat> so in this collaboration we just make a tag you can do a project share or a process video i have opted for the latter um <clears throat> so i just wanted to make a very simple tag and i decided to make a matching card to go with it um and as it's coming up towards the end of the school year, uh, I wanted to make a thank you tag and thank you card for teachers. Um, these, uh, I'm going really super simple, so you anyone could make these really. Um, so it would be a really fabulous project for kids to make their own card and tag for their teachers. Um, <clears throat> so yeah really super simple i'll start off with the tag i think um i have already cut these down but i mean it's it's not really the size that that matters you could go with any size i've done the main base is five by two and a half and i've done this on brown just craft paper and I'm going to get some brown ink. I've chosen um, gathered twigs, but it literally could be any brown ink or a little bit of felt tip just to make the edges a little tiny bit darker. So yeah, you could, you could do this even with just some felt tip pen, brown pencil just to make these edges a bit darker because I'm going to be later on putting these on and I want just a tiny bit of contrast between betwixt the two. So you could, like I say, literally use anything. Anything you want. You could even use uh, water down like coffee or tea and tea stain or coffee stain the edges if you really haven't got any kind of materials. So there's that. <clears throat> I'm gonna pop that to one side to dry. I've cut out two um, black pieces. So I'm not sure which is which. Right, that's... So the smaller of the two is for the front. This is just for the back part of it to neaten up. So it is two and one eighth by four and five eighths. <clears throat> and this is just a black piece of cardstock. And what I'm gonna do here is I want to get some I found this old bit of chalk so I'm just gonna get some I don't even know whether this is gonna work this is not something I've tried out or tested 
so it might not work out but I wanted to get that kind of blackboard effect you know where you've kind of gone over it and with the chalkboard so it's not it's not ever completely black there's always little pieces isn't there maybe if I go over it there's always smudgy out marks that'll do okay and for this part I think like I'm not going to because Evie's not home yet but you could get your I mean if if your child isn't doing the whole thing um you could get them to just write the thank you bit on the blackboard so so it's like part of them I've just got a white acrylic pen here, but you could use paint. I'm not sure how well this is going to come out. I chose this one because it's quite chalky anyway. And then I was going to do some teacherish bits. You know, they always do the mm, 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 to the word and circle words quite a lot. Just go over it again. Okay. So there's that part. And again, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And I'm just going to take this bit again and I'm going to do the back. So on the back piece for the matting, I've done it two, two and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I'm just going to glue this. Oh, that doesn't matter. I've got a little bit of the white chalk there. Nice bit of authenticity. Uh, just you can I'm using wet glue, but you can also use um you know the, the tape things or double sided tape or Pritt stick is fine. PVA glue. My glue is acrylic glue but and then I've got a white piece, which is two by four and a half. And going down there. So the back is just nice and, um, and neat for you to write out. There's the front. Okay, so for this bit. Now, you really don't have to do this, and I don't know whether it's a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to try and mudge podge it so that that chalk stays on there. But, I, like I say, I don't know whether it's going to work. It might make everything run. Uh, anyway... And it, it, it really isn't necessary. Oh, well, it might just take away that white altogether. Oh, that's not good. Well, at least I'm doing it so you don't have to. Right, there's that. That is done now. <laughs> yeah, just go back over with this. Chalky effect. 
stickers. I liked that. Why did I have to ruin it with Mod Podge? Uh. Okay. I think that's as good as it's going to get with the whole Mod Podge fiasco. Okay, so I'm going to glue it to this piece now, to our main piece. Again, you can use tape, PVA, print stick. Um, whatever you enjoy using the most or feel comfortable giving your child. <laughs> okay, so that bit is on there. And then these bits are going to be like the board runners like that. Just to give it a little bit more depth. Right, so I'm going to snip a little corner there. I'm not particularly good at like the whole <laughs> angle thing. You know, like with woodwork, there you do the angles. <laughs> I've never been very good at that. So it's not particularly like I mean that looks about right for for our first piece. So our first piece is it's turned out to five and then it's a quarter strip. And I found the easiest way to get a really thin quarter strip like this is to put uh, the bigger piece through and reduce it by a quarter so you're just getting the tiny little bit cut off if that makes sense I don't know if it does and I'm just gonna stick this along here and then next piece uh, is two and a half and again a quarter gonna get a black pen and I would say a ruler but I don't know where my ruler's gone still so I'm gonna get this other strip of paper <laughs> oh and I'm gonna rule over my finger I mean that's always good isn't it And I'm going to get the shakes. Fabulous. Super. <laughs> okay, well, we just, we just say that Evie did this one. Evie's would have turned out absolutely perfectly. I know it would have. <laughs> okay, and then, and then, and then, where did I put my lid? Okay. And then I'm going to get the same white pen and just go 
over there and then the inside of that one And also, I forgot about punching the holes. I I don't know where I've put it, to be honest. It hasn't got a home, therefore I put it anywhere. So, <clears throat> you could either just stick it, stick it on, or I think what I'm going to do is... Maybe get, I'm going to get an adult to do this. And just. And then I'm going to get some twine and I'm just going to loop it like so through the hole that's not big enough. Maybe if I just did one. And then I'm going to get the loop and I'm going to pull those two threads through so that it makes a nice knot there. And then I'm going to get these other bits. And... A bow. Now you could do this with different coloured ribbons or something like that to jazz it up a little bit. But there it is. There is my thank you tag. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the card, but I'm going to speed you up because you don't really need all the details. So for your card base, I've got a craft card base and mine is, mine is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then I reduce each um, layer down by a quarter. So whatever your card base is that you start with, reduce it down by a quarter. Right, just quickly. Um, so on this on this one because it's a larger uh, surface, I will be getting Evie when she gets home to personalise it with her teacher's name at the bottom there. 
um, and maybe draw some little doodles or something like that on the card using the white pen. So there's the uh, there's an idea or you could just put the name or you could draw a picture or whatever. Just treat it like it's a blackboard. Them. Okay, well you heard that here guys you, Any one of you leaves a hate comment on one of my videos Evie's got the perfect rebuttal That's going to make you feel really silly <laughs> Don't really get many hate com comments Everyone's lovely right, And I think just to jazz it up I might like so that it mirrors the twine here I might do some more twine just in the corner there. Let me just get some little highlighty bits there and there. A little bit there. And a little bit at the bottom there. Okay. <coughs> so just getting some more twine out. And I'm just going to tie it in a bow. Right, well, that is not a very good bow, so I come back. And you just fiddle around with it until it's in a position that you like it. I'm going to trim the edge there. <clears throat> nice dollop of glue there. And hold it. Right, so. There we have it. And if you want to go even further, more compl complicated, you could put like a drawing of the teacher, like on a separate piece of paper, you could do a drawing of the teacher and like stick that over so it looks like they're stood in front of the um, chalkboard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And like I say, I'm going to have Evie do some little doodles and write her teacher's name. This is how make a very simple thank you tag and thank you card to uh, give to your teacher or I mean someone that you know that's a teacher or even a teacher that wants to give thank you gifts little gifts or whatever to their classroom that would be perfect for um, <clears throat> and as I say um, this was for hashtag tag your turn and um, Carrie is uh, the host she's at the paper monkey uh, so go and check her out and I was uh, nominated by Bex over at Black Whis Whisper Crafts go and check her out and I am tagging in uh, Chelsea over at Sugar Ray Crafts and my reason is and it was a really difficult decision but my reason is that um, Chelsea sent me this really really gorgeous tag like under the ocean kind of tag and it was just so incredible and I wanted to know how she got that effect so in my head by tagging her she will hopefully do a process video and show me show me some of her how how to's how to do stuff um Currently, Evie is showing me mashed potatoes squished into a fork. I don't know how that's going to help me 
create an under the a perfect under the sea tag. It's squished through the <laughs> But yeah, Chelsea is an amazing crafter and um and I would love to see a tag from her and go and check go and check out her her channel as well. Obviously, Chelsea is perfectly all right if you don't have time or you don't feel inclined to make a tag. Um, no pressure here. <laughs> um, thank you so much to Bex for nominating me. I really, really had fun. And um, thank you for, um, for hosting uh, Carrie. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Love ya. Bye.